Hello and welcome back to Terraform Craft, Season 1, Episode 2, and I haven't done much. This is really not one of those series that you can actually skip ahead for a while because it all kind of mixes into the same thing. It's mostly about survival. Uh, I wish I had beds. Funny enough, beds are actually the... Uh, I guess I could technically make one early. In fact, main, uh, my main goal right now is to get one of these clay saw molds filled. And the basic idea for this episode is to find tons of ore. I actually know where there's some iron ore because it's actually some surface iron, which is quite rare in terraformer craft. But the sad thing is, it is completely and utterly useless to me for now, and it will be for quite a bit. I have to go through the copper, then the bronze age, and then I can start using stuff. I'm expecting to die any here any second now, but I still haven't, so I'm surprised. I would throw everything in a chest, but not much I can do about that. <sighs> oh, might as well make some other tools. more stone shovel heads. I'm also going to need a ton of wood soon. And this should be the last stone knife I need. At least for now. I would like to upgrade to a copper knife or bronze knife, but I'm not sure if I can do that immediately. <sighs> but yes. Luckily, there's actually an easier way of smelting copper, and I don't think it's, uh. I know silver isn't, uh. I think it's copper, bronze, bismuth bronze, and black bronze. I don't think you can use this uh, the method I'm thinking about for, um, oh I guess silver is one of them, but tin and another, you might be able to use it, not sure. I'll that back. It's kind of a coward thing to do right now, but things are deadly. Especially don't want to be shot by a skeleton. Those do a uh, good two bars of that health. <laughs> the good news is I have some uh, XP, which once you level up, gives you more health. I still need to do some other stuff here. Hmm. Actually, can I? Hmm. I wonder. Actually, that's something that could be useful to me right now. Though I don't want to risk uh, setting it on fire right now. do that. I'm trying to create a cooking space. Much easier to do it when you have a house, but uh, this little hovel thing isn't much of a house. I do however need 
a lot of uh, wood, straw, and a little bit of space. And I can make a kiln. What time is it, actually? As you can see, the nutrients drop as uh, you get hungrier. It is 5 a.m. That's good, because that means it's about time for me to go. For now, I'm going to keep this. Okay, yeah, it is definitely time for me to move around. <laughs> okay, I have to avoid certain things even during this day because creepers still exist and they've been I guess fixed so they no longer do the minute amount of amount of damage oh that's bad that's definitely a cave uh, be warned things can still collapse in on you when you walk on them that scared me <laughs> usually when that happens you drop to your death and then the rocks that fell before you hit you uh, even harder because they fell from a higher distance. <laughs> okay, this is an ash wood tree. And what's this stone? Definitely a rock. <laughs> it resets those. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I'm pleased because that's something I was actually looking for. I'm actually quite pleased with that. Unfortunately, I'll probably die within the next 20 seconds or so. <laughs> I'm still waiting. Okay, let's chop this tree and get some of that wood. Actually, how many saplings do I have for this? Because I need a lot of these, uh... My conservation uh, tendencies are taking over. <laughs> this is I try to conserve as much material as possible to make sure I last longer, but at this rate I will probably kill myself doing it. <laughs> uh, let's see. seven of that. I'm just going to make a little, uh, gather a little bit more. Same tree. Good. I personally don't like killing these trees that are close to the ground because they're good for hiding in. But I need the material. you may notice that if you break things like that, it actually breaks the nearby blocks that are no longer co uh, connected. Okay, let's drop this down. I don't suggest chopping the sequoias down redwoods, whatever you want to call them, because they are really lag-intensive and you need a better axe for the most part. And there we go. I should have enough material, at least uh, for wood. Let's see. Material now to produce one kiln at least. I'm hoping to get two. Now, I don't have enough material to make two, but 
good enough right now. The quickest way to do this is to dig one down. Shift right click placing what you want to cook down. Oh, I just got slowness. It's usually when uh, your water starts running out. And that's bad. That usually means you're about to die. Okay. add anymore. Okay, I can just right click like mad. Then right click with this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is a complete kiln. Light it. I have the fire animation turned off for some reason, but I'll adjust that again. I need to go to find water or I'm going to die. Uh, closest water is this way. Yep. can't even sprint like this. This is funny. But it does mean I'm about to die. Now this stuff is... I don't know. Oh! This is iron! <laughs> I'm gonna keep that there for now. Okay, you can't actually stand in water anymore. Oh, I guess you can. Huh. That wasn't working earlier. I had to actually dig down and sub uh, submerge my head <laughs> before it actually start gathering any water. And yeah, this is the best way to uh, get your water refilled. Just stand it like. Not the quickest, but the most efficient and doesn't cost anything. I do, however, need to get the malachite, uh, so I'm going over here. Okay, I'm not slowed anymore, that's good. Uh, these are just... Uh, can I collect... Nope. You don't get anything for destroying them. They're just there. Ooh, I found what I was looking for. Malachite is the copper, or is a copper material. And I do believe in real life it actually is, uh, its primary ingredient for making it green is copper. Since when copper erodes and oxidizes, it becomes green. Cassiterite. I, okay, I want it. I'm lying, I want it. Because <laughs> if I can get bronze, I can skip an age at least. Not much of a difference there, but it's enough. Let's see. How much cassette do I have? I think I need about 16 ore, and I need a specific amount of... Uh, Roughly one fourth of it needs to be copper. The rest needs to be tin, if I remember correctly. I might just want to stick to what's this? Magnetite. Uh, this area seems to be quite rich in iron. I don't know what this is. I think this is copper. Not copper. Coal. Because there's a lot of it. If that is an actual ore, then I'm quite loaded with it. <laughs> yeah, I might actually be able to have copper. Or not copper, tin. Since Cassiterite is tin. Let's see. 
sticks. I am actually quite far south. More south than I actually would want to be. Uh, what else? More considerate. This stuff's really common. If this is actually considerate, then I'm really in luck. So I really think this is coal. Okay, I heard a creeper cre uh, fall. Hi. <laughs> yeah, the axe does a lot more damage than uh, most other tools. But it unfortunately doesn't have that very... that much of a lifespan or durability. Let's see. I should be close to my house, actually. I'm still quite far south of it. Ah, oh, that water. <laughs> okay, that's uh, hematite, which is, again, iron. It's malachite. Again, copper. I'm trying to conserve the iron ores because I need uh, what's under them because that means when you find a surface ore it means that that ore is actually below the surface as well that's just what's left on top so it's actually good to dig around where you find that uh, malachite and stuff and that will burn for I think another eight hour. Uh, it burns for eight hours. So whatever time I started with still needs more time. But hopefully by the end of the day I will have that. And if I die in here, it'll be fine because all my stuff will be contained in this area. Technically, I actually can replace that with dirt. And that won't be much of an issue. Anything else I can cook in here? Doesn't look like it. Wish there was, e uh, wish there was easier ways of finding material. Not finding material, finding food. Unfortunately, crops do not spawn in the same place during um, save. Er, um, I guess every time when you generate a world, the food or er, not food, the crops in which grow, uh, which grow on generation, aren't always the same. So can't just recreate a world and have the crops there. One of the downsides, but who cares? I don't think you can grind rose red. Yeah, you can't do that. So in a sense, this is just a flower. <laughs> just want that out of my inventory. Okay, I have quite a bit of uh, cassiterite. some malachite. Really should have made some clay molds, but I'm trying to get as much of a... Uh, what do we call it? I'm trying to increase the stages, or ages in this case, uh, as fast as possible. At least until I get to about the Bronze Age. Once I get around bronze to iron age, usually I can slow down and relax for a bit, because then I need to gather just a bunch of other materials just to advance the age. And this is actually one of those series where I actually wouldn't mind having someone around 
because it's much easier to work with uh, multiple players on this. You can actually produce an actual town that's... I guess it's not so much as self-sustaining as kind of a community thing. People are good at uh, mining, or not mining, general smithing are pretty good to have around and people that are good at agriculture can produce food. Cooking can, I guess, cook the food and have better meals. Cooking actually isn't... Okay, it is actually somewhat of an important uh, skill because when you cook, you can actually produce foods that are more satisfying and keep you fed for longer. Let's see, how much granite do I have? Not a lot. <sighs> I need a chisel. But I'll be for something else. For now, gunpowder, I do... Actually, no. No, there's actually a use for gunpowder. Though it's not very useful, in a sense. It's more for explosives as you would expect. The powder keg is one of my favorites. And you'll likely see that eventually once I get enough gunpowder. And I have wood to create a keg. Or technically barrel. Uh, my, du uh, my nutrition is depleting fast. I'm still surprised I'm still alive. It's been about two days since my hunger depleted to zero. Well, I guess I'm just going to have to wait. There's not much else I can do here. Might just skip to when it's daytime. It's 1 a.m. Let's see. What other tools do I need? I guess javelins wouldn't be too bad. Now that the, uh, now that they're no longer weaker than arrows, they're actually worth something. Keeping just a bunch of these tool heads as well as some sticks with you is probably the smartest idea to have, uh, a smartest idea for the Stone Age at least. After you hit probably around the bronze, or any uh, metal stage for that matter, uh, usually the tools no longer have the same durability before they're actually put onto the stick. I guess if you do the Bronze Age and you use the molds instead of... Rest, actually, I want to uh, check something first. Okay, looks like my kiln is done. But yeah, I'm just going to skip till day. So, see you in a bit. And it's about time for us to head out. Shovels have damage? No. You know, might as well make an axe. Since that's my primary weapon for now. Zombies burning. They take quite a bit of damage too, so that's fine. But yeah, there we go. That was the wrong thing to do. And there we go. I now have ceramic vessels, which do not stack. Saw mold. 
Now, these ceramic vessels are actually good in that you can store items in them. Like that. Mostly small items. And in a sense it's a portable thing. You can also place it down. Get it back out. And this is basically your um, your beginning storage, in a sense. It's always good to have a couple of these on hand, but there's actually a different reason why I made them. I still need more copper, so I'm going to run around and see if I can find uh, just a little bit more malachite. By the way, uh, try not to fall into these things. They really will kill you pretty bad. Fall damage is no joke in uh, Terra Farmer Craft. It's it's devastating. <laughs> Falling about four blocks will take, I guess, about a quarter of your health. Uh, quarter of your health. I don't want to test it right now because my hunger is already at its limit. Uh, come on, considerate. This isn't actually too useful to me right now. Malachite and native copper. Usually on these mountains you'll find something. Ah, right there. As I said, mountains. Good. I usually find more though. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Uh, ooh, what's this? That is silver, isn't it? That is na uh, native silver. Again, you can toss that in here, as well as that. I think I'm going to toss all my primary coppers into here. Silver itself isn't that much of a useful item, personally. From experience, it's only moderately useful. So, yeah, I'm going to actually toss... Uh, Oh, I usually just... Uh, in fact, why am I not doing this? Shift right click, produce logs from that. Because I want to be able to get this later. Silver is one of those things that probably be like a currency or something if you were uh, playing with other people. It's moderately rare and... Huh? It's silver. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be a currency? Oh yes, and they actually added alcohol with uh, Terra Firma Craft, but then they removed it for temporary reasons of they're adjusting the barrels and the way they produce food and water primarily, uh, primarily liquids now you may notice this thing here before I end the episode I want to say that this is a fruit tree fruit trees are very valuable in that they produce fruit and I actually want a ton of fruit some other stuff over there. In fact, actually, what is the date? Now, this should have 30... Yeah, it should be 30 days per month, because I'm going for a full uh, 360 days. So, yeah. Oh, I'm slowed. Where's the closest water? Not far. I should have just remembered that there was water right here. Actually, do I have my jug in here? No, I don't have it. Uh, 
cooked. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm not slowed anymore. Uh, I'm probably just going to have to go make some other materials. I need to find... Okay, I'm going to try to stick to the water right now to refill my water meter. Water really doesn't uh, go down very fast, so you don't have to really worry about it as much. And it's probably the cheapest to actually maintain. So to fill it all the way up is actually pretty easy. And helpful in the long run. <sighs> Let's see. I'm trying to find some food, too. I haven't found anything. And it's actually concerning me because there was actually quite a bit of food here at one point. And now this... Uh, recreation of the world was nothing. Nothing at all. It's actually quite concerning. There's that collapsed stone. And some granite. Dolomite, I think. Yep. Limestone, dolomite, and granite around here. Uh, any more ore? I know this uh, video is getting a little long, but I'm trying to find something. So I want to start this at least. Ooh. Okay, I actually found something. These are actually decently important. I actually found some stuff. Ooh, I saw a pig too. Uh, and I'm dead. Store the ore. And that, I guess. That too. Shift, right click, and you can place them there. Yep. Goodbye, cruel world. I hardly knew ye. This is. Jute. And I'm dead. Goodbye, son. Uh. There. I starved to death. Now, where was I? Uh, can I not bring up my map? There. Yeah, first death. I was actually fully, uh, fully expecting that. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to fall because, again, it takes about a quarter of your health for four blocks. But at least I found some stuff that's actually valuable. And unfortunately that food's going to rapidly deplete because my health is low. The endless cycle of starvation. It's happened to me on many occasions. Ooh, that is a cave. That actually might be useful. The good news is it fills your uh, food and water, I think, to max, or at least close enough to it. But unfortunately, that gives you borrowed time. And there we go. I get my items back. And... Gatherer. I just gathered... Oh, there's my axe heads. Uh... These are jute. This should have given me jute fibers. Do I need to cut it with a knife? I probably do. Funny enough, it should actually be uh, giving me items, but it's not. Uh, this stuff, however, will give me stuff. But the food that uh, is produced from it can't be used. So this is oat. I found this in a different spot, uh, but oat is oat for now. 
I'm going to actually let this grow to maturity because... Actually, can I just eat... I don't think I can eat raw oats. It produces straw for every time you do that, but I don't think you can eat this raw. 14... 14.2, you can't eat it. It goes through the full motion and everything. You should be able to eat these. But yeah. For now, if you like what you're watching, subscribe. If not, oh well. Have a nice day. Wow, I don't want to be near that right now. I need to find my house. But yeah, till next time, have a nice day. Subscribe if you like what you're watching. If not, oh well. Follow me on Twitter. Like, whatever. <laughs> Still not used to all that. And... There we go. Have a good day.